Well, awesome, there you are again. So if you're thinking about moving to Baltimore City, these are the seven wild things you certainly don't wanna miss. I was here a whole year before I even heard about number six and certainly never heard about number seven. So you wanna make sure you check it out. Alrighty, I'm John Ruckman. I'm the Charm City Property Dude, and I'm excited about this video because in this video, I'm gonna give you the seven wild things about Baltimore City that I think you absolutely need to know about. And I'm excited to say that I didn't, I didn't know about number six. I certainly didn't know about number six, and we're gonna start right there. We're not gonna go in into particular order, but well, maybe we should. I, I'm going to keep number six to the end because I want you to tune in. And you know what? If you make a comment down below, I'll give you a free, uh, a free uh, list. Let me take my name off the screen there, maybe. So do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell for this and all the other great videos. Thank you very much. Listen, I get a lot of phone calls from folks just like you every day. I absolutely love it. I know this is a scary process, but if you call me here or book a one-on-one -on -one conversation, email me, text message me any day, night or weekend, don't worry, I've got your back when it comes to real estate. Yep, and let's get to the video. I wanna give you number six, I really do, but I want you to stay tuned until you hear that. And listen, if you make a comment down below, shoot me your email. If you go ahead and hit the consultation button up here, I will give you a free list, a checklist of moving to Baltimore City. I know there's the struggles of moving and packing your stuff and all that. All right, I divulge. So the first thing you definitely need to know about Baltimore is did you know, did you know, we're gonna actually, let's do this. Did you know? I got a new toy here anyway. Did you know that Baltimore is home of the oldest market in the continental United States? Can you guess which one that is? The Lexington Market. That's right. Right there on Light Street, the Lexington Market was established in 1782 and is the, is the oldest market in the continental United States. Did you know that? Say what? Well, and the fun part about the Lexington Market is, is you can get the best of seafood there. You can get the best of pizza there. You can get food. Uh, you can tell I'm a foodie. I love eating food. But if if, if Lexington Market, there's the South uh, Street Market too. And then there's the Cross Street Market as well. So number one is Lexington Market is the oldest market in the continental United States. Which brings us to number two. Did you know that the city is home to the National Aquarium? right and the national aquarium my family and i we've been in the national aquarium about four or five times in life it is humongous you can spend the whole day there going to the dolphin show but did you know that the aquarium is home to over twenty-two thousand species of fish and a different and one of the largest the most visited aquariums in the continental united states that's right and the best part about the aquarium is, is it's right there at the inner harbor Right across the street, you got Fogo de Shan, you got the Inner Harbor, you got the Cheesecake Factory. They give bus tours down to the aquarium all the time. The kids go down there from school. And that's pretty much how my uh, we came about going two times because I got to be the chaperone on the trips for the school for my kids when they were in elementary school. Really, really a great time for all, and I strongly recommend it. All right, going on to number three. Number three is, is did you know? Well, you, of course you do. You're not, I mean, you're, nobody on the planet doesn't know that Baltimore is like the home of Old Bay and seafood. Seafood, 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 whether it's shrimp. As you saw in Forrest Gump, there's... <laughs> and of course, there's crabs and there's all, you know, mussels and clams and fish. And of course, Baltimore City is home to like you know, Little Italy and it's home to Fogo de Shan and the Rusty Scupper. There's different neighborhoods where you can get a variety of different types of seafood. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't like the Baltimore City. All right. If you don't like Baltimore City, then you can always go out to the counties. And some of my favorite crab places are Conrad's Seafood and Vince's Crab House and the Madonna House. They all have crabs. And crabs is one of those things, if you don't eat them or you have eat them, 
eating them. Uh, it's like a conversation piece. You don't eat crabs to get full. You eat crabs to eat the accoutrements that go with it, corn on the cob and the hush puppies and the fried chicken. You go down to the beach and there's fr like all you can eat. You can definitely tell I'm a foodie. I like to eat. Yes, I'm overweight. I identify as fat. Thank you. But uh, so that's number three. Number four, number four. Did you know that Baltimore City is home of like a ton of the most museums anywhere on the planet, everywhere around the block, you can see museums. There's the Black National History Museum. There's the Science Center. There's the Bottle Cap Museum. There's like the Babe Ruth Museum. There's um, Jeppy's Sports Museum. Little trivia, I played, I dressed up as Batman as a younger myself, and I actually walked around. I had such a great costume. I really looked like Batman. People were thrilled, and I got to do that down at the Jeppy Museum. Anyway, it also hosts home of the Constellation, that is the black and white ship that is on the Inner Harbor. It is available most days. You can go onto the ship, and I'm six foot two, 245, mind your business, pounds. And uh, when I say, when I walked in that ship, it really made me feel big. I remember as a kid doing this and ducking around trying to get through that ship. Really, really fun. Um, they launched that ship in 1854 and at last sailed as a warship built by the U.S. Navy. And now is a museum that the visitors here in Baltimore call home. All right. So number five, number five, I believe it's number five. Baltimore City is home of the rich, richest history of like arts with notable figures such as Edgar Allan Poe. Did you know Edgar Allan Poe lived here? Of course you did. He has a house down there on uh, right on the other side of uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard. Um, he lived here. You've got Cal Ripken, the Iron Man, Mr. Baseball. You've got Ray Lewis, who was like Smash Mouth Football with the Ravens. Um, you have Michael Phelps, who's the famous swimmer. Did you know Michael Phelps won like 22 gold medals? Yeah, I mean, so he's famous. There's Dale Midkiff, there's Jonathan Sheck, there's John Ruckman. Of course, you know, I've been on TV too. I've done a couple of episodes of like Law and Order, Boardwalk Empire, and a couple other TV shows. So there's a lot of uh, lot of famous people in and around Baltimore. And then that brings us to uh, number six. Number six is, I think it's number six. I want to get these right. One of these days, I can't count. The simplest thing, I can't count. Anyway, number six uh, I didn't know this, but did you know that uh, Baltimore is known for, so if you go to Locust Point or any of the other neighborhoods, they always have these really, really small row homes. Uh, there's uh, Tyson Street right off of Martin Luther King Boulevard, and you also have like, it's right near the Baltimore uh, Sympathy, the orchestra. And the row homes are so small and so tiny. They're about 650 to 700 square feet. That's how small they are. Now, contractors have come in, they've taken all, there's nothing in them. There's bare walls and there's like uh, cedar plank flooring, which I, I want to say they took it off the ships that sailed here and made it into the floors. But the row homes are so small and they're so cute. And people have made those than homes. And you can see all the colonial stuff that's along the top of the buildings. Really amazing stuff. You can really give the throwback to the colonial days. All right. And that brings us to number seven. Uh, number seven is... Uh, if you didn't know, and I'm a huge fan, Baltimore Ravens. Ravens are a smash mouth football team. They are hard hitting. We hate Pitt and we we uh, like everybody but Pittsburgh and we hate everybody. No, how does that go? Um, we like, we hate Pittsburgh, but we like everybody else. Something like that. But anyway, we always have a good rivalry between the football teams. We love our Ravens. We talk about it. And the best way to celebrate a Ravens game is I get free tickets all the time. Usually on the 50 yard line, go down there, have a beer. You miles will get along with everybody around you. Sometimes we get some rowdy fans down there, but you know, we've won the Super Bowl a couple of times some smash mouth football and, and we just went through the whole thing with lamar jackson so i think that might have been seven or eight things anyway i'm john ruckman i'm the charm city property dude Analyzing Listen, i now. love 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 helping people i get phone calls every day from people just like you folks just like yourself they reach out to the number here or my email and they contact me on the nights days weekends don't worry if you contact me i have your back when it comes to real estate i love doing these videos you can always reach out to me book a consultation call i know a little bit about a lot no i know a lot about a little i know something but anyway i know enough about baltimore city 
I know how scary it can be when you move. So yeah, go ahead and check out this video and that video and I'll catch you on the next one. I wanna thank you very much for checking out the video. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get this mission out to everybody that looks at the video. I try to get as many people as I can help into Baltimore and the surrounding areas. So thank you very much for checking out the video and go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch